Food plots are not always just about deer. They can benefit other wildlife as well. Where I'm standing right now is a field of switchgrass that I burned up during the winter. And then when it started to green up, I hit it with a good dose of glyphosate. And I'm going to show you what I've got going on here. This was way too thick, and animals weren't using it and moving through it. But now you can see that there's a patch here, a patch there. You know, it's more spotty with lots of open areas in between those switchgrass clumps. The other thing that's happening is that quite a bit of milkweed is coming up. There's a real nice milkweed there. So, two things. One is that when this matures and it's six feet tall, seven feet tall, it'll canopy over a little bit and turkey poults can run through this and they can bug in here and stay out of sight of avian predators. The other thing is that monarch butterflies rely on milkweed to make it uh, down to South America. Uh, they have to build up enough energy to make it down there. Also, the caterpillars eat milkweed leaves and they have sort of a symbiotic relationship. So, whenever you're planting your food plots, always figure on helping out other animals and pollinators. So any food plot should have a patch of wildflowers in it. So, yeah, think about the other animals and what's going on. And this, this is kind of experimental here where I burned and sprayed on switchgrass. Switchgrass is very hard to kill. And uh, the uh, milkweed is immune to glyphosate. So you can spray milkweed all you want with glyphosate. It's not going to kill it. And uh, you can do a lot for those butterflies if you want to. So consider that when you're planning out your food plots.